Hey guys, we're back. And last time we left off, we were sieging uh, this castle, Palanga. So, but I think we're going to call that off right now because we're going to go for Vilnius, I think. I'm not exactly sure how many turns it is away. I think it's two. If I go for there, I think... I think I'll make it in two turns, and because the AI is, uh, An honor law, but goes, by me. yeah, the AI goes last, uh, in the turn, so if I go previously, even though Hungary will be pretty close to Vilnius, they should end up, like, a square or two away from it, uh, I'll get there first, if I leave, if I leave now. So we're going to call off the siege. We'll probably go take it sometime else. And first though, we should hire some mercenaries. We will take all the crusader knights. And we will go for Vilnius. Honor and courage, soldier. We march to war. Okay. We march on men. Lift the siege. Relations. Papal states morning, went to perfect, and Lithuania went to poor. But that's okay. Okay. Now, we can also recruit Crusader Foot Knights. We'll definitely do that. And we'll also get some Crusader, more Crusader Knights as well. We have plenty of money anyway, so we can just spend them later when they cost too much. But for now, we don't have to worry about that. And Lithuania has a rather poor army as well. So. Yes, I, I, Now we just need to move our units, I think, and... Yeah, I haven't done any recruitment, I don't think. I think I uh, left off right after I called the crusade. After I got the Pope to call the crusade on Vilnius. So, maybe we should persecute these heretics. Holy crap, that guy has way too high piety. I just hope my cardinal doesn't get owned by that heretic over there, because that would suck. Oh, and there's our duke. Yeah, Lithuania has a rather weak army, at least from what I can see at the moment. Come on, please work. <laughs> Good, he gains piety now, so he won't... He has a better chance of standing up to this guy. You will not show your people so I'm going to move him a bit out of the way now, so he doesn't track him down, even though AI usually does that. And... Okay... If I move my agents... Do I want anything from Rome? I don't think so. Okay, we'll just uh, Without question, my lord. move them to the Holy Roman Empire. I'm not going to do anything, though. Service. Yeah, and my princess is still searching for a bro uh, husband who will uh, marry her because all the freaking French generals have extremely high ro uh, loyalty for some reason. See? There's like three three of these guys, and that kind of sucks yes. because uh, I shall ride on they shouldn't all have perfect loyalty. So we're just going to move her back uh, east. We'll probably move her to Genoa, Venice, see if we can find some generals whose loyalty isn't ridiculously high. She has good charm, though. So, yeah, it's well, guys with... The high loyalty's fault, and there are merchants everywhere here for some yes. reason. We'll just train him. They will not keep secrets from you, Viking. Oh, he doesn't always gain. Uh, he doesn't always gain uh, subterfuge for some reason. That's fine. Yes, my king. 
You have spotted a business opportunity? Yeah, I'm gonna wait for these guys to go away, so, then they will probably Got some new snatch up today, some perhaps. profit or some like weak merchants, but there, there aren't any there right now. Okay, I might as well do some build up my forces in case Lithuania somehow has an army hidden somewhere and decides to counterattack. Yes, my king. And well take my bishop, drag him over to Vilnius because we're gonna be taking it shortly. Yeah, and Hungary's probably gonna go attack Lithuania's other settlements. I think they have one or two other settlements. And Yeah. Because I don't want, I don't want, I mean, did I say hungry instead of the thing? Yeah, I don't know. Well, in any case, uh, I don't want them to succeed in the crusade. Uh, because that would suck, because Hungary, I'm probably going to go to war with them sometime, and I don't want them to have me surrounded, so I'm going to take Vilnius. It's okay if they take another settlement or whatever. They're, they might go to war with Novgorod or something. But, yeah, I think I'm recruiting things everywhere, yeah, okay. Yeah, our relation just jumped, I think last time I checked it was, yeah, it was like uh, here or something and it jumped a bit up. It's not too high, but even though it says we're perfect with them, uh, it's not at the maximum thing, but whatever. Yeah, okay, I think I've ranted enough for this turn, and we will end the turn. lagging a bit because I'm running fraps at the moment and plus even if I play the game without fra fraps stainless steel is larger than the vanilla game so uh, it definitely should run <laughs> slightly slower but battles seem to be fairly laggy for me but I don't know why so sometimes it takes like uh, two minutes for a faction like Right now, the Holy Roman Empire is just, oh, well, now they're moving, but sometimes, even if there's a faction that's off-screen, like, that I can't see, they take forever to move, even though it should just go by really quickly if they're off-screen. But usually it's not too bad. Yeah, like, the Byzantines, like, took, like, 10 seconds or 5 seconds right there, and usually it should just be... Like, boom, gone. In any case, um, what our next move will be after taking Vilnius is probably trying to secure other Lithuanian uh, strongholds, and Hungary will probably be left to go take some rebel settlements for now. And then, yeah, we just hope Hungary doesn't turn on us, though I doubt they will. We might go for an alliance with them, but I don't know if I should make the first move in attacking them or they should attack us because I don't want my reputation to be severely damaged by that. Okay, Key wants something from Greetings. us. Greetings! I come bearing word for you today. Go ahead. A fair deal, it would seem, yes. Our power is very weak. Wow. And they're stronger than us. Well, wow, that's Farewell. odd. <laughs> I didn't think we're that weak, but even though we're not super strong. 
Okay. Yeah, recruitment for some reason for Poland is pretty slow at the beginning. Usually most other Western, their Western neighbors have a bit faster recruitment at the beginning. Okay. Byzantines are first, as usual, though my overall ranking is going up, which is good. And Poland, aka me, has joined the crusade. The Pope is happy because we built church. And Lithuania and Kiev are allied. Well, I'm about to pounce on uh, Lithuania, and I don't. But I don't think Kiev will immediately turn on me, though. God serve. Yeah, I'm staying the hell out of the way. How may I serve? Okay. Probably should be able to take Vilnius rather quickly. Let's compare. Yeah, I can barely see Poland's flying because it's pure white. Um, let's compare us to Lithuania. Okay, they're below us, which is good. Uh, their military is worse. Excellent. So they probably have an army working around here somewhere. I hope they run to Hungary. I really don't feel like fighting Lithuania at the moment. Uh, upkeep is free, so maybe I should recruit some troops. Yeah, the crossbowmen are a be better alternative to crappy levy archers, so we're gonna get one of these. I am surprised he hasn't gotten any uh, uh, traits for uh, recruiting mercenaries, because usually by this point he would have like discounts or something on it. And we are attacking Phileas. Yes, my king. Laying siege to the enemy. Okay. Well, we will maintain our siege because we Can cannot we assault them. The assault now, my king? Okay. God serve. Now, let's see if we have any missions. Yeah, just gotta do our crusade. Hmm. Okay. What do you require of me? To get married. With pleasure. Yeah. Continuing tomorrow. Maybe we should get some trade rights from app information with them. Trade rights are good for uh, not getting people to hate you. And we will upgrade our wall. <clears throat> We're still getting money even though our most of our settlements are on low tax rate, which is pretty good. It's good for growth. <clears throat> I don't need that much income at the moment. <clears throat> yeah, and our merchants are camping right there. And what was this guy up to? I, I think I sent him to go attack some rebels or something. I can't find him. Damn. Well, I'll see him next turn if they decide to move. Maybe they just disappeared. My lord. I'll probably send them up upwards as reinforcements. Uh Okay. Yeah, we still have access to shitty infantry. And now we just wait for the castle to grow. I think for Thorn can recruit some uh Better units? Nope, not yet. Okay. Whatever. Hold on, let's see if this... Uh, yeah, I think we get Pavis crossbowmen later on. Okay. Ranges. Lithuanian archers, which... suck, but... 
are better than levy archers. I don't know why damage for some units so low when it shouldn't be at one. Even though they would be pretty weak, they wouldn't like be uh, hitting you with feathers. It should be a, like a bit higher, like I've said earlier before during this let's play. Okay. I'm just wondering what path we should go towards. Oh right, yeah, and put these crossbowmen, of course. Uh, are a bit expensive to get to. Yeah, though, it should be easily affordable with our budget. Max of one, which kind of sucks, but whatever. At least they're heavily armored and kick ass. Okay. I'm gonna actually upgrade our sable so we get better cavalry. Yes, my king. Oh, might as well send this guy to Vilnius as well. We'll go back to this rebel settlement later. Reaching until morning. Yeah, actually, I'm gonna send these guys yes. to go take Palanga. Right. Everything here is set. I'm gonna save the game because just in case something goes wrong in this let's play, if I say if I'm not recording, for example, or my game crashes to desktop, then I can load it easily again. And I'll just save it as Poland campaign one. So we still have our old save. But actually, I'll save it as something else. I'll save it as just in case. And then at the end, I'll just save over my original save if everything went well. Alright. I think we've done enough this turn. Yes. Yes, my king. Let's get Is there something I can do for you? Oh, we already have traders with them. That's fine. Until next time. Okay. And now we end the turn once again. Wait, hold on. I think I forgot to uh, build something somewhere. We want to be as productive as possible if we're going to build up our armies. But, well, except for the castle right here. We don't need anything in that right now. No, we're building everywhere. Alright. Let's fast forward these guys a little bit. pretty uneventful because we <laughs> can't see much of the map at the moment. Maybe after I succeed in my objectives in the let's play I'll probably reveal the map and see how the other nations and factions have expanded compared to mine. There's a lot of rebel settlements in this area which is good and should be taken advantage of before other uh, factions take advantage of it before you. Actually overall there's going to be way more rebel settlements like even in Western Europe but there's way more in Eastern Europe I would say. I don't know about uh, the southeast of the map, the Middle East, and Africa. I don't 
know exactly how they're holding out, but I think there isn't as many rebel settlements. I think it's mostly a bit squashed together are the Turks, uh, the Crusader states, and the Fatimids, and I think there are some other nation cities like the Cormesians. I don't know how, how they're expanding, but usually the Crusader seats get crushed. And Hungary is probably going to go take some other settlement or something. Uh, or they can just hide in the trees. That works too. <clears throat> or are they attacking someone? I'm not sure. Oh. They disappeared again. Okay, whatever. Even though my cardinal is right beside them. Oh. Yeah, they're attacking someone. And they're gonna go after their duke again. Or not. Yeah, they're probably gonna go for a rebel settlement over there? I don't know. Whatever, as long as they're out of my way. Oh, yeah, now they're just pushing all the rebels towards me. For, well, not the rebels, the Lithuanians towards me. And, yeah, so, if we take Vilnius, Hungary's probably gonna go take their other settlement to the west which probably is a bit more reinforced. <laughs> I want I don't know if the uh, Lithuania is going to attack me right now, but if they do, I have a easier chance of crushing them because they are going to be outside of their fortress. Time to take Vilnius. I don't. Maybe next turn. I don't know. I just don't want those reinforcements to linger around my general area. Uh, thanks a lot, Hungary, for pushing them towards me instead of just chasing them and killing them. Oh, we found the scumbag rebels who are hiding in our towers. All right, we'll go after them first after taking that rebel settlement because those guys are really starting to piss me off. Plus, I want my units to get some good XP. Mensk. Oh, I think it's that rebel settlement over there that we sent our cardinals to. Maybe. Maybe we'll take it. We'll see. England and France are at war, of course. In Portugal and Moors have a truce. If it is a fight you wish, come closer. Well, let's see if I can recruit any more mercs. An honor to serve, my lord. No, it's just the same ones. All right, whatever. An honor. If they attack me, even if they decide to attack me now, they still don't stand much of a chance. God serve. Because I have freaking Crusader Knights. Of course, my lord. I'm just gonna scout out and see if uh, there's any lingering armies here. On my way. I don't think so. Yes, my king. Yeah, I hope they just stay garrison there. Uh, okay. I'm just wondering if I should take Vilnius now or later. They have some Lithuanian axemen which suck but aren't too bad compared to some units but uh, 
I look forward to fighting you. Skirmishers, cavalry. I think their cavalry is pretty good though. Kind of like mine. Though not I as good. Your one. head rest atop a pike. Outlander scum. And they can fight me if they want. That's fine. As well, I probably might hasten it up a bit if they start sending reinforcements over here. But for now, we'll just starve them a bit. Let's see. Okay. We can go attack these guys. Yes, Lord! Confronting the enemy! No, that's not good enough. They must die. <laughs> because no nobody covers my towers. Okay, they have really crappy infantry. And we have a 5 to 1 odds. 5 to 1 odds against them. Let's see if we can beat up, beat that. Yeah, we probably could. 